Hello everybody, it's Lone Tracker here. I'm going to do a brush bundle. The way we do it up north, okay, I'm looking for this kind of stuff right here. Um, this is a, a balsam fir tree. And the bottom branches are dead. And it's kind of slim pickings around here, but there's still plenty. Usually, usually they're so thick you can get them all off one tree. This time, I have to go to a couple trees. Okay, what I'm looking for is a lot of these small branches, like this. And the end, that's what's going to get your fire going. It's a good stick bundle. And if you find one that's good enough, with enough small branches, you don't even need to use any any tinder. Okay, here there's some on the ground. I usually I don't take the ones on the ground unless that's all there is. Um, okay, so now if I'm pointing it at myself, who knows? I got kind of a bundle going. I like to have about twice that much. And right here's a birch tree, so I'll take a little walk around it and see if I can find any bark. Sure enough, there's some pretty good stuff right on it. Rip that right off. Most of it's kind of hard. Some of it's soft. You got to be choosy when you're getting your birch bark. It's got to be soft. Otherwise, you got to work with it. You can see this tree's dead. It's not terrible. You know, it's worth sticking in there, but I'm not going to use it for starting the fire, but it's a, it's a form, a form of kindling in there is what it is. No. Okay. Here's some more balsam that's really good with the small branches. Let's stick this uh, first spark in the middle there. Just busting that off. Yeah. You don't need a knife or an axe to do this. All you need to do is bust it off. All nice and dry. You can use gloves if you want. Maybe it'll be a little easier on your hands. Alright. Okay, there's another little birch tree. You got some more birch bark on it. The more the better, of course. This is kind of hard stuff. Yeah, this is softer stuff. Small ones, a lot of times, will have the best bark on them. You can see there's no shortage of birch around here. There's some big rock outcroppings. I'm in the middle of a big swamp. It's kind of a big rock with some trees growing on it, is what it is. There's a little maple branch picked out. This stuff's kind of hard again. A couple more fir branches I can throw in there. I'm saving some for the morning. Get a nice big fire going now. If you got a little bit of brown needles on like this, that's okay. Um, in fact, they're, them are very flammable. You now, if you get them when the, the needles are bright orange, it's almost like gasoline. Oof, goes right up. Here's my, I started my fire already, I got some maple on the bottom, like two, three feet long. It's not going to get too cold tonight, so I'm not worried about a big fire. Got a little rock out in the back of it. I got this big bundle of uh, balsam bowls, and I got a little bit of bird bark. I got more in my pocket. What I like doing is I like busting out a whole bunch of these little ones. And I put them in the middle, kind of. And I put, I put a bunch of bird bark there tonight. I break the whole rest of them off. Birds 
part. Murder stuff is in there. That'll start. But it won't start as easy as the white stuff on this. I'm gonna put that kind of right by all the small ones that I mashed in there. Walk around the more it's gonna get thrashed up, thrashed up in your pocket. Of course, you can tie it together like a lot of you are doing. A lot of times, I'll put a green uh, balsam branch in there, and then I'll wind it around. Time to wear out other gloves. It's burning pretty good. Um, see, I'm not sure the gold. Oh, I had some other stuff set aside over here. that I busted off the hemlock tree. It was nice and dry. And it's going to go like crazy. knee high. Ooh, that pine burns. Now if it was a little wet out, it would have threw a little pine sap in there too. <laughs> 